Hello and welcome back with another SPS video and today we are back on Utopia SPS and today boys we are gonna be showcasing the beautiful Halloween event that was released on here as well. As you can see I'm already wearing the Halloween unique set, it looks so freaking nice and I'm definitely looking forward to the Halloween quest. They've made up an entire custom quest which I hope you guys enjoy with some amazing rewards and everything. But really quick before we go into the video I'd like to announce the giveaway. We're gonna be giving away two goodie bag boxes as well as five beautiful Halloween spinner boxes. Two, two lucky winners. So, 10 boxes in total. All of you like the video, comment to your name down below and be subscribed to my channel. If you guys would like to check out this beautiful customer SPS right here, which has roughly 30 to 60 players online all time, make sure to check it out with the links down below. And I would say, let's go right into the video. Happy Halloween! Brand new Halloween quest right here. I'm going to be showcasing that in the game. As you can see, all the different stuff you need to know about the quest will be found as well in the beautiful uh, showcase right here. Just go ahead and watch this or watch the video. I'm going to be showcasing every single piece and I'm going to be showcasing this entire uplift threat right here. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Alrighty, with that said, let's go ahead and teleport to the beautiful column, column, Halloween zone. When you arrive at this place right here, bro, it looks so freaking nice. You want to talk to the vampire right here. Greetings, fellow Utopian. There are multiple monsters and terrifying creatures attacking my base, the Halloween zone. Okay, my man. I need to help you gather items from each NPC. Every item from each monster you will return a reward with different prize. Okay, that's very interesting. So as you can see right here, the first one, it travels to Graveyard of the Shadows in the Wilderness. Kill three colored ghosts. Each color drops different key parts. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Also, there's a brand new Halloween boss that is a global boss we've just spawned here, which is the beautiful Shadow Alice right there. He's already dead, unfortunately. But as you can see, he is dropping all the brand new Shadow Alice pieces. It was just randomly spawned here, therefore we were... Oh my god, wait, did someone get something rare here? Because people saying congrats. Uh, oh yeah, he actually got himself some spinner box. Congrats to Fuber right there. And um, yeah, so this one is located right west, uh, sorry, east of... The Halloween place right here. I'll continue grinding the quest. So the first location you guys want to teleport to Edgeville. And then you want to go run north. By the way, huge shout out to Mr. Grayson right here. Gonna showcase us every location for the quest. So run north all the way up to the graveyard. Alrighty, so here's the location guys. In the graveyard you guys will be finding these different glows. So we got the blue ones. Uh, which are located over here. Then we got over there the beautiful black ghosts, and we, I believe, you also get another one. So you need to get the three different key parts, as you can see right here. Ghostly parts, two out of three. Then we got the beautiful one out of three and the three out of three. So straightforward, farm these three uh, key parts, and you guys will be able to get yourself the beautiful key. So you combine them to get the key. Alright, so if you guys run a little bit north, you guys will be tele uh, getting yourself to this beautiful place right here. Where you guys will be finding the furniture on the left hand side. Go ahead, bring all your three different key pods to use it on the furniture. You guys will be getting this beautiful ghostly key right here. By the way, if it tells you you can't teleport out 20 wilderness, just type column column kill me. And you guys will literally fucking kill yourself. That's very weird, but yeah, you die and then you can go ahead to teleport back to column column. Halloween. After you give him the key, you guys will reward it with your first quest completion, which is the beautiful ghostly gear pack right here. You can choose between the grey, green, and purple. I'll just go for the purple one right here. Yay, that's very nice. And we also get 5,000 pumpkin tokens. Thank you very much. So there's a second quest as well that you can go ahead and complete. So you want to talk again to the vampire. And he's talking about the underground Pennywise. So that's the second quest we want to go ahead and do. Teleport to column, column shops. That's the teleport you want to go to. And then go a little bit west. So you teleport pretty much over there. Go a little bit west here. You'll find the leather. Go down the bat boy. And you guys will go to the next place. So what you want to do in here, you guys will be finding these event Pennywise. So these bat boys are also farmable. What you need to farm is two candies, as you can see right here, and one bucket uh, and one bucket. That's what you need to get yourself to complete the next quest. So that's what you want to farm here from these beautiful event Pennywise. All right, after receiving the requirements, you go ahead, talk to the men. You guys will be getting yourself this Chucky right here, the Chucky doll, which is a beautiful cosmetic item. As you can see right there, it looks fucking dope as well. And you're also, no, I think that's the only thing you're actually going to get. And also 5,000 tokens, exactly. So, same as before. So, you get free 10,000 pumpkin tokens. Plus, you get this cosmetic ghostly set. Plus, you get this little offhand right here, which looks absolutely 
beautiful. Also, what you've unlocked by completing this quest is the beautiful second penny penny wise zone. So go can go back to the lower climb down. And then you guys will be able to go ahead and farm this bad boy for another custom set to get. Alrighty, here we go. Show the drops. And as you can see right now, you can see the entire set of the Pennywise that you guys can farm. Plus, you can also get yourself Halloween spinner boxes, which is super, super rare. But um, yeah, if you get lucky, you can actually get this. Plus, we're giving these away for free, guys. Like the video, comment your in-game name down below, and be subscribed to my channel to enter. And as you can see, you can easily, easily farm them. And hopefully you guys will be able to get yourself this brand new set as well. I'm quite sure it's going to be quite, quite expensive. And of course, as a normal drop, you guys can also expect to get yourself pumpkin tokens, 1 in 5 chance, and $1 bonds as well. So, super amazing to farm. And then you guys can stack on bonds, tokens, as well as some cosmetic items. So, you might be asking, what the hell can we do with the tokens? Yeah, well, there is a custom shop that was added as well with the event. So, again, back to column, column, Halloween. On the right hand side, you find this Halloween store right here where you guys will be able to spend your Halloween tokens. So, as we can see right here, there is a bunch of different masks you guys can purchase. I think there are 2,000 each. Then we also got ourselves things as a $10 one, for example, for 7,000 pumpkin tokens. So, for completing the quest, you guys will be getting yourself a free $10 one, for example. Drop rate scrolls. As you can see right here as well, fucking OP as well. So many things you guys literally can get for free for just completing these quests, which don't take a lot of time. Then you can go ahead and buy yourself also Halloween Spinner Box, for example, 10,000 each. And you can also buy all the beautiful items slash sets as well, which are 25k each for the Shadow Alice set right there. Well, you thought that's going to be the end. Oh, no, we have another quest, guys. The Nightmare Quest. Go back to the Vampire Talk to him and he's telling you that he wants to bring you 600 Nightmare Skulls and Vampire Blood Vials. Jesus fucking Christ, this, mad, this guy is fucking mad. So, let's go ahead and help him out. So, if you guys run south of the Halloween location, you guys will be finding the Nightmares right here. That's the one item you want to farm, so the Nightmare Skull, again, they don't have a lot of HP. So, you guys will be able to farm them quite okay-ish. And the drop rate is literally 100%, so you get it immediately. So, get this skull. Then you want to go as well and kill the vampire, which are located literally next to the room. Kill him, and you guys want to farm one of these vampire blood vaults right here. The only two things you guys need to do to complete the third quest. Alright, after you bring in both items back, you guys will be completing the next one. So, congrats, you finished the Nightmare Quest. Enjoy the reward, as you can see right here. The Nightmare Pat is for the boys. Very, very, very awesome. Look at this little Nightmare Pat right here. We've just got another 5,000 pumpkin tokens, or even 7,000 into the inventory. So due to not having the uh, the Vampire Blood Vial, I had to skip this part here. But the idea of the quest is you pretty much get the Blood Vial. Then you want to bring the 600 Skulls and the Vampire Blood Vial to the Wilderness right here, to the Carousel Tower. And then you guys will be able to use it on this special tower right here, which is going to give you the special potion, which I've just received. And then you can go ahead, as you can see right here, this is the one you need to bring back to the beautiful man himself, and the, the vampire, and then you guys will be completing the quest. As you can see right here, Nightmare Pat as well, 7,500 pumpkin tokens. Very nice. This pet is giving us 15% drop rate, double drop rate bonus, as well as a bonus damage multiplier by three times. That is so P, as well as two times Halloween AFK mining tokens. All right, into the last quest. As you can see, this is a huge as beautiful Halloween event right here. So, tra travel to Coastal Town, where is Sign the case? So, he's telling me about a bunch of different weapons we need to gather. So, the three items you need to go and farm is Kill Death. Get yourself a scythe, go uh, kill Juvenate to get a vampire dust, and we also need to blah, 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 need to get more vampire dust, I think. Okay, let's see. So the first location is right here at the Chaos Altar, as you guys can see as well. Chaos Temple. Teleport there, and you guys will be finding the beautiful dust right here. You need to kill it for the scythe, 1 in 2,000, a drop chance. So you guys need to go ahead and farm the scythe right here. Good thing is, you're also able to get yourself PVM tickets and everything. After you get the site, you want to go for the next location. So the next one is uh, right at the spider. So you need to run a little bit uh, north. As you can see here, we were at Coast Temple. You want to run north towards the spiders where you guys will be able to kill the humanates right here for the vampire dust. Alrighty, here they are, the beautiful vampire juvenates. As you can see, right click 100. 
chance to get yourself the vampire dust. Also, what's really cool is you can't actually attack these NPCs without the scythe. So you need to go ahead and bring your scythe that you've just farmed in order to be able to kill these vampires. That is a very nice storyline there. Alrighty, so we got both items in inventory. Talk to the vampire and there we go. You finished Fear of Death. Enjoy rewards. Thank you very much. As you can see right here, we got the entire vampire set. That's so freaking amazing. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't actually showcase it because I have the cosmetic override right there. Bit unfortunate. But here we go. This is how the set looks like. Also, very, very nice. It is a cosmetic one as well. We don't need that one. But, um, yeah, freaking, freaking amazing. And as you can see, we got even more pumpkins. So 25,000 pumpkin tokens for completing all the different quests. There's also some other perks of completing all the quests I would like to show you. you is finishing all the quests will give you more access to the second floor Halloween, Penny, Y Zone, Flying Pumpkins, Attack Ability, Extra Halloween Pumpkins, Earning at the AFK Mine. All Halloween monster are dropping tokens 1 in 5. Also, after 250 kills, you will be guaranteed 250 token drop. That's pretty sick. And also, as you can see right here, we have the um, beautiful zone, which you guys can see right here. I'll show you in-game really quick. So if you go here, run north, we will be finding these beautiful flying pumpkins that we can farm, as you can see here, with all these beautiful loots right here, including 10 fucking dollar bonds, as well as Halloween spinner boxes. And there is also a lovely Halloween portal that you guys can use. It's the second floor of the Halloween. It's pretty much the same location, but just the second floor that you guys can enter. As you can see, people farming different NPCs in here. Full vampire quest is required to be able to go to this zone right here. And again, really quick, I'll show you guys really quick the all the different NPCs on the guide as well. So as you can see, drop the Pennywise. Then we got the mini knight and Myers right here with all the Halloween masks, the vampire NPCs. With all these beautiful items here as well, with including the vampire glass as well, flying pumpkins, the ones we've just showcased right here, and also the global boss, which is right here. Every two hours it's spawning. There's also stuff spawning it every now and then. And as you can see right here, you will be able to get yourself this beautiful Shadow Alice piece, and uh, it just looks so freaking amazing. You have also guaranteed late 100 Halloween tokens for each kill. That's actually pretty, pretty amazing. Nice animations as well on it, and just overall looks freaking amazing. And the last thing I would like to show you is the AFK mining right here. So you need to bring a pickaxe. But yeah, these are the pumpkins right here that you guys can farm for free. As you can see as well here. Uh, super, super convenient when you ask. You can do, uh, go ahead and do that. Make sure to use the Halloween items for that to get extra rewards. And then you can go to the Halloween store and purchase all these beautiful things from there. And also Halloween spinner box, of course, that you guys can purchase as well. As you can see, all the loots are included here. So rare reward, obviously, the allies pieces. But also, all the other common and uncommon loots can be found in there as well for some lovely rewards. To wrap things up, like sure, because you the remaining of the update throughout. As you can see here, theme textures added. Decorated home with the Halloween. You probably noticed that throughout the video. Vampire glasses look so freaking cool. Halloween sword, 10% drop rate and 10% double drop rate. Gradable with great scrolls. Then we can see also the stats here, 15,000 in attack bonuses. The updated donation deals as well you guys can find on the server as well. Looks really nice. Interface as well here. Rainbow owner okay, cape at 500. Jesus Christ, that looks also very, very amazing. And as you can see here, also new items to the donator. So obviously Halloween spinner boxes and the drop rate artifact pack right there. Amazing freaking update. The video is pretty, pretty long. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much content, guys. Probably the coolest Halloween quest I've seen this year so far. Huge shout out to Utopia. If you guys want to check it out, all the links down below. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. Like the video, comment, give me a name down below. Be subscribed to my channel. All the links for Utopia down below. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Have a good one. And